We just got back from SEMA 2022 at Las Vegas. I was invited to be a guest speaker on Sabra's restoration builders panel next to a few elite builders from around America. I spent the rest of my time roaming the convention halls in search of off-grid and survival components I need for my own builds. I found quite a few golden nuggets and I also bumped into the country western singer and fellow survivalist Craig Morgan. Yeah, what brings you to SEMA? All this stuff. So are you building th are you building things or are oh, you uh... listen, I own a Jeep, so I got a gladiator, so you never stop. It's kinda like having a Harley Davidson. You just keep you bolting know, stuff just, on. It never ends. Do you do you bring any of your equipment and actually go out camping? Like when you camp, do you bring a, a guitar? Bro, I'm for real. This ain't no, no, no I'm, I'm like but I'll do you camp my, for a good with so a guitar? So I'm a triathlete. Mm -hmm. So we put bikes on top of my crap and okay. we take off. And I'm not a guy who likes to, I'm, I'm, I'm funny about, like, I don't like going to the campsites, you know, mm -hmm. where you got plugs and stuff. Yeah. I like going to a place where people can't come and hang out very sure. much. If you don't know I'm there, you can't confine me. <laughs> okay. And that's what we're here to do, is we're looking at stuff that doesn't plug in and doesn't require gas. We're, we're actually looking at how do we take someone and bring them to a place where nothing exists and have them actually, you know, survive and even thrive. And that, that's and what that. we do. Okay. Like I, I have a business in Alaska where I take people and teach them how to live off grid. Okay. That's what we do. That has been my life. I'm an entertainer, but right. Music mm -hmm. is my world. Uh, but, but the other stuff is what I do for, for, for me. Okay. I, I live on an off grid farm. We raise our own fruits, vegetables, protein. Uh, we uh, pump our own water. We produce our own electricity. We're the same. So way. basically, you could put a wall around my house, and it wouldn't matter to me. I do that. Where I don't need a wall because I'm about nine miles from the closest road. I'm about uh, 45 miles from the closest town, which okay. is a really small town. Yeah, we can't drive where I'm from. You can't even it, you can't even get a uh, UTV to where we're at. Home. Okay. Now the UTV, where we have one on the property, mm -hmm. but once you leave the property, it's difficult to get to the road from there if you don't have a amphibious vehicle or a track vehicle of some sort. Okay, yeah, we we've got a few of those. You know. <laughs> like our our neighborhood is is ten and twelve acre, and in fact, we just had our first cow. Um, but yeah, we're doing milk goats, milk uh, milk cows. Um, uh, enough chickens you know we've got just this chicken oh, yeah. population that grows and turkeys and yeah we do all of the same well we did i don't do as much of it now i have everything in place in the event that i need to or mm -hmm. want to uh when the time comes when i'm not so busy touring and all that stuff yeah but chickens rabbits uh I, people make fun of me my, I, I say i have a farm we have 500 acres in tennessee mm -hmm. and my wife says it's not a farm i said it is a farm I'm feeding the turkey, I'm feeding the deer, I'm feeding the yeah. squirrel, I'm feeding all the critters that will feed me later on in the event that I need them. Yeah, to. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exactly what we're doing right now. I I don't go kill all my animals to eat them because there's a grocery store. Yep. It's nice to know you can. If you exactly. Need to. We're it, the same way. Look, if you've got no money, then money is always on your mind because anything that happens and and like you're mentally screwed up over it. Well, if you've got your own food, you don't have to worry about the fact that there might not be food. You, That's a fact. It, it's, like, uh, it's like this this peace of mind I get just by looking out and knowing that I've got dinner anytime I want it. Any, <laughs> any you know, I just walk out into my yard and make dinner. I do the same so. thing. It's nice. Like you get out of this, calm out of your tent with yeah. a cup of coffee and look out there, they're going. I don't need nothing or no one. That's right. <laughs> I can yeah. do everything I need is right here. So what, what made you move into that world? What I mean, because most people, look, it, it's convenient. You go to the grocery store and you buy a pound of coffee and, and a, you know, a box of, uh, you know, uh, uh, Twinkies and, and, you know, you're, you're set. Is, was it health or was it uh, security? Health primarily. Okay. Uh, I, I've always desired to be healthy, triathlons mm -hmm. and all of those things. But also, I like the idea... Uh, I think what started it, I have 17 years in the military, mm -hmm. 17 years in the Army, and I did, okay. I trained the down pilots program at Fort Campbell. Because uh, I, was, I was a pilot, at, and, and I worked at Fort Campbell for a while. Uh, so I, I, at Fort Campbell, I trained the down pilots program. Okay. Uh, I did all the survival stuff for the down pilots program. Okay. Uh, for a long time. I worked at the air assault school as well. Uh, so that was a big, I think because of all that, it kind of carried over into my civilian life. So yeah. why'd you do 17 years? That's a funny number. 17 and a half. Okay, well, that's even a funnier number. Yeah. Uh, at 10 years, I went into the active reserves. That's when okay. I went to Fort Campbell, was working in 101st RTOC as a fire supporting seal for 5th Special Forces Group. Okay. Did all that. 
Uh, so while I was there, my music career took off. Okay. And at, at one, some point I just said, you know, this, it doesn't make sense for me to continue to go do that. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. 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 yeah I, I, I finished up my career and then I, then I created a company. So yeah, I'm trying to go back and finish that two and a half years. So Are you really? Letter. No, you're not. <laughs> 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 All right. No, good story. Yeah. Um, I actually joined in 79, um, got into fifth group in 80. I was actually supposed to go to 10th group, Fort Devens, and, yep. and I got assigned because that's when fifth group was at Fort Bragg. And, and so I was, at, I was with fifth group all the way until uh, what happened was third battalion of fifth group stayed at Fort Bragg and all the rest went to Fort Campbell. Yeah. So fifth group became third group. And it was at that point, you know, I'd already done Halo, Scuba, uh, all of that fun stuff. And, and that's when I transitioned and went to flight school. So I then became an Apache driver. I'll so be darned. so I, I got a chance to have, you know, uh, kind of an interesting, colorful past. No um, kidding. That's so amazing. That's I, awesome. I, I was in Fifth Special Forces group and I've lived in caves. I've lived in boxes. and and and. I wasn't doing it because it was a hero thing to do. It's because I was living with families that live that way every day. Yes. And, and so when you get back from that, it just makes you really appreciate hot and cold running water and a clean bed. I say all the time, I've been to over 80 different countries. You know what it's like. I've never stepped foot in one that celebrates the freedoms that we do. It's hard for people to grasp that. But you know, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't, uh, I don't hold them at fault. I, it, the, the reality is, they they can't grasp what we've experienced. Right, because they they've never known anything no, but this. That's so, right. When so, they get in their car, yeah. their heated car, and they drive to that's the right. coffee shop and go yeah. to their nice jobs or whatever, it's hard to comprehend the the magnitude. We're so scared about getting scratched and hurt, and we don't realize that those things are what what make us stronger and better. So, let me ask you: Was your time in the military as great as mine was? It was the best. It was I, the highlight of my life. I was going to say. And I, ironically enough, my wife still to this day says, you know, she wished I'd have stayed. And I, I mean, I've had a great music career. Yeah. Uh, but for her, she says that was well, some of the better times of our life. You know, the, look, I, when I was in E3 and I could barely pay my electric bill, yeah. it was tough, right? Yeah. But, but they were good times. Isn't um, it funny how we always remember all the hard times? Yeah. Yeah, the good times you yeah. sort of forget, yeah. but it's, it's the tough times. The, we, but that's what makes us who we are. I believe that's true. Yeah. I do. I really yeah. do. So thank you for your service. Yeah. I, uh, uh, I, and thank you for I, yours. I, yeah. I, all right. It's a pleasure talking to you. My thank pleasure. you so much. Thank you. We've got more SEMA content coming your way in the next couple of weeks, and we also have big news. The grand opening of Easy Homesteading. Come visit our new retail shop, which includes hardcore survival supplies in our Phantom Works off-grid shop. The grand opening is in Norfolk on Black Friday, November 25th, at 25th and Hampton Boulevard. The links are below with all the details. For the curious all over the world, yes, the rumors are true. We are rebooting our reality show, but with a twist, because Phantom Works is going off-grid and creating some of the most extreme survival builds you can imagine. And don't worry, I promised Audrey, we'd still restore classic American cars too. Find the shows you've grown to love streaming on YouTube and CMAX. Come along for a wild ride. Thank <laughs> you.